Daar was hij dan donderdagmiddag in Tialf. Tron Espeli, het hoofd van de technische commissie van de ASU, die verantwoordelijk is voor de invoering van die beruchte Dr. Bibberregel. De Noor werd omringd met allemaal coaches die wouden weten waarom die nieuwe regel er toch moest komen. En vooral ook hoe die zou worden geïnterpreteerd dit eerste World Cup weekend. En dan waren daar de vertegenwoordigers van de actiegroep Stop Dr. Bibber. We hebben een, uh, een petitie aangeboden met 2522 handtekeningen erop die tegen de nieuwe Dr. Bibber regel zijn. Waarom uh, maken jullie je zo druk om die uh, regel? Nou, we hebben... Uh, afgelopen weekend uh, gemerkt dat tijdens de wedstrijden het heel erg lastig is om je nog op het echte schaatsen te concentreren. Zeg maar. Het gaat niet meer echt om de snelheid, maar vooral om, oh gaan ze over die lijn of niet? En het is lastig waar te nemen. Het is, nou, het is niet altijd even duidelijk of het echt gebeurt. Dus het, uh, het leidt de aandacht af van waar het echt om gaat eigenlijk. Well, it's good to see uh, dedication for speed skating is alive. Um, so, uh... We'll, uh, we'll take this as a message, of course, from the fans that uh, partly uh, we may have uh, made a wrong assessment when we produced the rule, but maybe also the intention of uh, the new rule hasn't been communicated very well. The rule was out as a proposal since January, and we had several meetings with uh, people knowing the sport very well, including active skaters who had also been part of the preparation of the rule and uh, we didn't get the feedback that this was something totally crazy. So from that perspective it was surprising to have this uh, very strong reaction. And was iedereen in Tialf dan alleen maar tegen de invoering van de nieuwe regel? Nee hoor, want daar was Trevor Machicano. Hij is een geheel andere mening toegedaan. I actually I like the the new rule by the ISU about the the crossing the lines because uh, I guess because a lot of times I run into the issue of you know you get a you get a big you get a big skater and you know they they weave a lot but what they'll do is if like say I'm in the outer lane and the other skater's in the inner lane well he'll sweep way out across the line into my lane which makes me have to change my track to uh, you know to to make up for for his track and in doing so I have to slow myself down but the other skater gets to keep going and I have to now uh, I have to now accelerate again and. You know, just, it just costs me more energy, which to me, this is, uh, you know, these, these are time trials. Like, it's, you know, yeah, you know, one skater has his lane, the other skater has his or her lane. And, you know, like, if you can't stay in your lane, then, you know, like, you're, you're not really uh, racing the, the proper distance or the proper race, in my opinion.